We are here at 98 Eastport Boulevard, the Hamilton Pro Wrestling Academy, and I'm here with the owner, the operator, the man behind it all, Mr. Rip Impact. What's going on, dude? Well, Matt, let me start by saying thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Uh, it's been uh, a bit of a journey already getting this started, but uh, I'm uh, very excited now that uh, we've been get going with it, and uh, now we're here on our third day after the opening uh, last week, which went very well. I'm quite happy about that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really transitioned into something really special right from the get-go. If you're not a part of it, I highly recommend checking it out. Uh, we'll throw out all the plugs for that as we're going on. But I want to uh, you know, get your idea of the inspiration behind something like this, because I know a lot of Hamiltonians, a lot of just people in general in Ontario have been clamoring for a school in Hamilton. So talk a little bit about how that idea came about. Well, as most people know, I'm uh, very proud to be from Hamilton. Uh, it's my home. It's always been my home, my hometown. And Hamilton's got a rich history in wrestling. Um, a, really lot of, a lot of wrestlers back in the day came from Hamilton. It was known as the factory. So it was known for producing wrestlers. Like so my, long ago. My original trainer, uh, the executioner Ernie Moore, he came out of it and, and uh, he helped train a lot of guys. And in the past, I mean, there was a wrestling school here before, but there hasn't been a school here for probably six, seven years at the, like very, that, yeah. at the very, at the very uh, soonest. So it's great to have it back. Like you said, I think people have been clamoring for it. I think uh, Hamilton's a very good central hub. Yeah. It's easy to get to from out of town. It's I easy. mean, you look at cities like uh, a Brantford or Bill Burlington and Oakville, uh, you know, Guelph, anywhere around Hamilton is very easily accessible to. It's very easily accessible. Right and beside the highway, too. Where we no are, excuses. We're, we're right by the highway. Uh, we already have students coming in from Brantford. We have students coming in from Guelph. Uh, I got recently contacted by a uh, potential student who wants to come in from Burlington. Holy. Maybe even Toronto. So people are coming in for the for the experience and, and what we're doing here. Very, very cool. Now talk a little bit about the, the curriculum and what's gonna go behind some of the classes here at the Hamilton Pro Wrestling Academy. I know you've got, uh, you know, you got the women's stuff, you've got the kids stuff, you've got the beginners classes, the open gyms, you name it. So take us a little behind the concepts for each of these classes. So unlike the previous schools I was involved with in Hamilton in the past, um, I'm really trying to get things organized, really trying to have everything, uh, I think the best word is structured. I want to have a good structure, and uh, that's what I'm working towards. So um, I'm offering on Monday evenings a uh, women's exclusive class, much like um, fitness gyms out there. Some women don't feel comfortable training with guys yet, so if they want to try that out, they can with the girls' exclusive class. Very cool, very if not, all the other classes are co-ed. Uh, we already have a few girls signed up, past students and new students, uh, girls signed up, and we have a couple more inquiring. Um, I do want to offer a kids' class. I have... Uh, about four or five kids uh, potentially signing up within the next couple of weeks. Uh, so that's exciting. That would be like an age, you know, cool. 10, 12. Uh, most of the kids have some kind of karate background, so that'll help with them as well. And uh, that'll be fun for them. And of course, like I said, the beginners classes, which really, really focus on the beginners, the, fu the foundations, uh, the fundamentals, the basics, and uh, going from there. And then the open class, which will have more of uh, wrestlers dropping in and, uh, Depending who's here, student-wise, it will focus on that and cater to each individual uh, with what they're doing and where they are. Well, I mean, I've only been here for a couple of classes, and we've had names like Hacker Scotty O'Shea and Alessandro De Murno already stepping in and uh, assisting you with some of the classes, some of the teaching. So it's uh, really cool just to see those names popping in. I can only imagine what you have going forward. Definitely. Uh, it's great to have guys like those guys come in. Uh, I've been contacted by a few other guys, uh, old-time wrestling vets, um, younger guys of this generation, guys that I came up with, all wanting to come down, all uh, wanting to help. Uh, I have assistant trainers lined up here and there. Uh, eventually, I'll be bring on a full-on assistant trainer in the, in the near future. Uh, additionally, I want to have uh, seminars. Well, I've, I've been contacted by a few people that uh, want to do seminars here, so we'll be hosting awesome. those as well. Very, very cool. So uh, a lot comes with the the price, a lot comes with the uh, the membership to the Hamilton Pro Wrestling Academy. Uh, definitely very affordable. So contact Mr. Rip Impact uh, and definitely you know get yourself in here at the Hamilton Pro Wrestling Academy. Uh, I, I want to touch on what you want to make of this facility because I always feel like coming into a facility, uh, people have certain goals. Some goals are realistically unreachable. So I want to know what kind of is your state of mind coming into something like this? So with this, uh, I said from the start, I want to provide not only a place for people to learn professional wrestling and, and live out their dream of stepping foot into a ring, right. but um, 
I don't want to make false promises, and and I can't make guarantees that you I, will. I feel like that's the case anywhere. with a lot of wrestling schools out there too. Like they'll make all these big promises, all these big goals for you, and then you never end up reaching up to them mm. because they fall through. Yeah. No. With this, I uh, I want to offer not only pro wrestling training, but I want to offer like just a fun environment to hang out in. Yeah. Um, just a good good place to go. Um, well, I mean, some even people, before we started this interview, I just got up here. We were lounging upstairs just watching some wrestling casual. That's, that's right. That's, that's one right. of the things that comes with the facility. It's really cool. That's right. With the facility, as Matt uh, touched on there, we have a lounge and library area. I'm bringing hundreds of wrestling tapes and DVDs. Books. If you know Rip Impact, you can only imagine the library that he has of wrestling stuff. It's mind-blowing. Yeah, it's a big archive, so uh, we'll be watching tapes, watching DVDs. I got books that people can sign out, all different autobiographies, um, just various things. So it's something else I want to include, and like I said, uh, we'll be constantly updating that, and people can check that out. That's sweet, man. That's sweet. Again, this is 98 Eastport Boulevard. As we go on, we'll give up some more plugs, but I want to hop into your professional wrestling career a bit because like, it's been a really long time since we've got the chance to sit down and talk about you, talk about what you've been doing on the pro wrestling scene. So talk a little about you know, the past three years and what you've been up to i know tours a couple ring of honor shots yeah. you've been just doing everything and anything man i've been trying to keep busy i've been trying to keep busy and uh i've been very excited with uh how the last couple of years have been going uh both professionally and personally uh i've been keeping like i said busy with uh, a lot of tours last year was one of my busiest years i had 170 something matches wow. yeah i did tours most uh, in your career yeah, it was the most in one year yeah. in my career, which was surprising. Very cool. Um, surprising to do it last year of all years. Um, with that, I did tours for Grand Prix, for Atlantic Grand Prix and the Maritimes twice. I did several winter health tours. Uh, I've been touring all over, so I've been doing a handful of matches. Like you said, uh, a bunch of What brings you into stuff. doing tours? I just love being on the road. I mean, uh, that's going to be slowing down now with the focus on the of school. Course. Of course. But I love the traveling aspect of wrestling. That's why I got into it. And... Uh, with that, I also like wrestling in different territories, different places, and more so, I like wrestling with different people okay. in front of different crowds. Um, also, tours, it, it gives me an outlet to do what I love to do. It's wrestle, and it's wrestle full-time. Consistency, I'm wrestling every night. We'll do two weeks, and we'll do 12 shows. We'll do six weeks, and we'll do 35 shows. Wow. We'll just keep busy, and that gives me an outlet to really make substantial money wrestling so often, selling my merchandise that I'm trying to brand and, and, and really move that out there as well as, like I said, the shows. And I try to do training camps here and there once in a while, boot camps. And now, like I said, having the school here is what I'll be focusing on for the future. Absolutely. Uh, take us through some of the unique experiences of these tours. Because like being in these areas, being in, I'm not trying to say like part of my language, but fuck nowhere or anything, <laughs> but like talk a little about some of these tours and uh, the experiences that come with them. So a lot of the winter tours and uh, some of these other tours I've go on, um, they are in like some isolated areas. They're pretty far up there. Sometimes you don't have phone service or Jeez. limited Wi-Fi and stuff like that. But when you go to these smaller towns, they don't get much there. So the crowds are full. Several hundred people come out because they don't have much going on. They don't have a movie theater in town, so they pack into the wrestling show when it comes in. So they really appreciate it. It's a lot of fun, and uh, you really get into a swing of things when you're doing the circuits on the tours. And then... The Maritimes, it's awesome because it's so old school territory down there and you get to work with some different guys and uh, the mentality down there and the approach of things, it's just it's fantastic. Very cool. Uh, not to get too controversial here, but between the tours and some of the stuff you do in Ontario, do you feel like the Ontario fans are almost a little spoiled because of what we get and how often we get it? There's definitely a lot going on in uh, Ontario, and yeah. there's a lot of great companies out there bringing in top-tier talent from outside, like, all over. So seeing where I travel and stuff like that and the different places I go to, uh, I don't want to say spoiled, but I just want to say they're very lucky and fortunate. I want to tell those fans that they shouldn't take anything for granted. We have, uh, like I said, a lot of good companies down here. They bring in a lot of good talent, outside talent, but we have a lot of good homegrown guys. And I agree. That's what we want to do here with the school is we want to build the future of uh, – future of pro wrestling around this area and hopefully eventually get our students out doing exhibitions here at the school. Like I said, we want to do small shows here for friends and family and eventually with my connections, get those uh, students onto smaller shows in the area and just keep going from there. Very cool. One thing in particular I wanted to bring up was last year, last summer, uh, last June to be in particular, you got to take part in a gauntlet with Chris Hero for Smash Wrestling. I want to talk a little bit about your experience because there's no secret. We've talked about it off air many of mm -hmm. times, your relationship with Chris Hero. So talk about that experience and it was for a special cause as well. So obviously yeah. probably near and dear to your heart. It was awesome. It was, uh, 
I wanted to work with a hero for a long time. And uh, first time ever. First time in a match. Yes, yep. we've uh, we've rolled around lots of times. Right. Uh, back when we had the old school in Hamilton before. Him and uh, Jen Blake came down. It's just the three of us, three or four of us, I think. And uh, we literally just trained for hours. Jeez. Hero's always been one of those guys that um, at any time he'd watch the footage of my matches, mm -hmm. give me some critiquing. Uh, anytime I did Ring of Honor tryout matches and whatnot and, and dark matches or matches for Ring of Honor, and he was there at the time. He would always Very watch good. them, give me good feedback. That's awesome. He was always kind of like an unofficial mentor and really helped me. And he I mean, always like someone I, I enjoyed watching as well. I've watched so many tapes of his and right. DVDs, so... So I kind of molded my style afterwards a little bit too, because I, I could see myself doing something like him. I want to do that traveling. I want to be that mixed style. And like I said, uh, he doesn't let anyone typecast him. He just does everything, mm -hmm. no matter you know what I mean. What size is that? No matter what he's doing. I was gonna where say, he like is, you've seen all the everything. criticism online of oh, hero this, hero that, but he's one, he's of, the one of the best wrestlers in the he world. He's one of the best around. There, there's a reason for it. Uh, speaking of, uh, you know, talking a little bit about wrestling, I, I wanted to, well, we're talking about wrestling with this podcast, but I wanted to talk about your nickname, the High Risk Hero. Uh, how does something like that come together? And uh, you, you've adopted it, you've made it your own, you've had it for many of years. Yeah. So talk a little about the nickname and how that something like that so comes together. So the nickname, together. the High Risk Hero, uh, this is going back a few years ago. I... Uh, Back in the day, Ontario Indie Wrestling had the Ontario Indie Wrestling website and oh, the uh, boards, good times. The boards, yeah, and they uh, they would do awards every year and everything like that, which was real cool. So a couple years in a row, I won the bring that back. I won the High Flyer of the Year award yeah. back in I don't know, 07 or something, 08. It was a while back. Um, so I did a lot more high flying then. I still do quite a bit and uh, still do it. I do it sometimes, just at the right place, I at the right the time. I love the style you do. It's amazing. Yeah, and that that came with a bit of training and wrestling in Mexico and uh, just I love it down there. I want. It uh, show some of that here at the training facility as well. Yeah. Um, but with the name, the High Risk Hero, it was actually given to me, uh, the nickname was given to me by Anthony Kingdom James. Really? Yeah, it was when he was running his union shows back in the day in oh, Toronto, man. and uh, he gave me a good series of matches there, and uh, he, he gave me the nickname, I just stuck. Very, very cool, very, very cool. Uh, going forward with your career, uh, what are some of the things you're wanting to do? I know we've, we've touched on the Ring of Honor stuff, you've had some experiences there, you're doing the tours, you're keeping yourself busy. Uh, what do you want to do? I know you want to be a full-time wrestler, but where do you want to mm. bring yourself as a full-time wrestler? So yeah, I just want to keep, uh, keep traveling. Is keep, Ring of Honor keep, something that's in the works? Because I know you have wrestler. the contact, so. Yeah, no, Ring of Honor is something I want to get to. Uh, I'd love to get in there full-time eventually, or just, you know, I mean, even more like consistent with them, that'd mm -hmm. be awesome. Um, Has there been any talk about that at all? I've talked to them here and there a little bit, but nothing, nothing really official. Concrete or, or anything? Right? No. Um, I'd love to do more stuff in independence um, on the states. I, I, I haven't done too much in the states. Outside, I have a few bookings here and there in the last couple of years because I've been keeping busy with tours and local right. shows. But I'd like to do some more in the states. Like years ago, when I was starting up, I did like an Evolve show here and some Dragon Gate USA shows back in the awesome, day awesome. down in New Jersey and whatnot. I want to, uh, I want to get back into that eventually. So. I'll be uh, trying to reach out to those places, especially now with doing less tours. I'll be focusing on my career locally and, mm -hmm. and stateside a bit more too. Right, right. And especially, uh, not to touch on it too much, but all the spots opening up with these guys going to WWE. There's definitely, definitely going to be more spots, again, opening up on definitely. shows like Evolve, like AIW, AEW, all these uh, For shows. For sure. Wrestling's right. thriving right now. Wrestling's it thriving is... right now. It's a hot time. It's a boom. Uh, guys are being called up constantly. Other guys are breaking out, which is great. And uh, with all that, like I said, additionally with my career, I want to focus on uh, giving back. I want to focus on the future of the of the wrestling and and what the young guys and different guys in the area can bring. And that's what we want to do here with the Hamilton Pro Wrestling Academy. That's right, cheap little plug there. Getting back into it, the home, Hamilton Pro Wrestling Academy here at 98 Eastport Boulevard, Hamilton, Ontario, right by the highway. Very easily accessible. Very easily affordable. Definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, you want to throw out all the plugs. I know you got the Twitter page, the Facebook. You got a website upcoming very soon. Yeah, website's upcoming. Um, you can find us at Hamilton Pro Wrestling on Facebook. Mm -hmm. You can find us at Ham Pro Wrestling on Twitter. Yes. Hamilton Pro Wrestling on Instagram. And I believe it's Hamilton Pro Wrestling on YouTube as well. I'll make sure all the, the graphics, all the details are there for you right here, right now. And uh, definitely recommend supporting Rip Impact in the, the great endeavor that is the Hamilton Pro Wrestling Academy. Rip. Thank you very much, Matt. Thank Take you. Care.